In this video, I'm going to talk about flow run URL. Now, flow run URL is a URL basically which displays the executed flow details. Okay. Now, uh, if you go into the back end of my make.powerautomate.com, uh, here you can see the flow run history. Now, when you click on individual item or the individual run, uh, you should be able to see some information related to flows. Okay, now this is how the URL is, you know, like uh, say segregated. Okay, it is HTTPS make.powerautomate.com and then slash environments and the environment name slash flow slash workflow, the workflow name slash runs workflow, the workflow run ID basically. Okay, so when you have all these things uh, uh, available, then you can get into the flow run execution. Now, uh, let me show you in action, basically. So this is the flow uh, which uh, I have created. It doesn't do anything fancy, manually trigger a flow, and it just sends out an email, okay? Now, let me test this flow. If I click on save and test, this, will, uh, this flow will get run, and I should be able to receive an email, okay? So let me open the email here. Then as you see over here, uh, if I just refresh the screen, it will show me this particular flow has executed successfully. So I'm in the run history. Now how to go in the run history is like you go into the my flows, you go into the specific flows, you select the flow and then you click on run history. Okay. Once you are in run history, you can see the details about that flow. Now let me go inside this. Okay. And then I will be able to see the flow details. How did the flow went? What was in action? You know, those sort of information. Okay. Now this is, uh, let me go back and refresh this. Okay. And let me run this flow. Okay. Now I'm, I've executed this flow. Now, I should see the flow run history. Okay, so this is seven second ago. If I go inside it, I should be able to see the uh, flow details. Okay, now I can easily uh, go through the raw inputs, raw output of the input, what was the raw input for the email and what was the output. Now, why would you like to know about this run history? Now, uh, Microsoft Flow by default, if it fails, it will not send you any notification. So there may be a need whereby you may need to receive an email in case the flow fails. Okay. Now, just receiving an information is not important because if you see over here, many of the flow run might fail and you may not know which flow run has failed. You know, if you see, say, multiple emails. So you need to have an exact URL also. Now, if I go into, say, one of the flow run, then if I see this URL, okay, there is something going around with this URL, okay. So let me open a notepad and paste this URL, okay. So let me bit zoom a bit and show you how this thing works, okay. Now, this is the URL formation, okay, make.powerautomate.com slash environment. This is the environment ID. This is the flow ID and this is the run ID. Okay. Now, if you have all these things available with you, then you can craft a URL and then that URL can be sent across in an email. Okay. Now, what we can do now, we need to extract this information from where are we going to get this information? Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, edit this flow. Okay. And let's craft that URL to be sent in an email against that flow run. So if I click here, if I click on add an action, let me have a compose action. Okay, compose. Now here, uh, if I go into dyna uh, say not the dynamic value, but the function over here, under formulas, if I type workflow, okay, and just a function, you know, just a function, let's see what happens, okay, save it, okay. And I will use this compose action over here. Okay, let me take this off. And go to the dynamic content and I will take the 
compose output okay and save this and run this flow and see what happens okay so remember we are crafting a url for the run flows okay so for that we need to do this step now i'm showing you the very basic level of step uh, because i need to uh, go through first the fundamentals before we even craft that complete url now the flow is run now if you see the send an email the email which you might have received okay let me open the email It's taking a while for the email to load up. Let me again open it in a different tab. Okay. Now what we have done in an email, we have sent uh, the workflow function, okay? Now the workflow function, okay, uh, which we have sent, uh, if we see the raw output over here, like, we can see a lot of things happening over here in the headers okay manually trigger a flow this is manually trigger a flow header if you see uh go back and let me go into that specific run action so if you see here under compose okay you see this is the output which is sent by the compose action okay now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the show raw output and I copy this. I'll copy this. Now this is uh, a nice interface, but uh, I would like to see it in an online JSON viewer. So I'm going to just paste it over here just to see how this looks. Now this is how it looks. Okay. Tags, ID, tags and run. So this is the uh, basic schema of that particular output for workflow. Now, if you just expand it and keep now let me see what all things we need from a url perspective now if you see here our environment id is d809 okay and now our environment id if we find it over here we should be able to see this environment name okay now environment name how do you get that is you say say workflow okay question mark and then you traverse you traverse now this is the first node that is tax and the next node is uh, the next node is ending with zero four which is environment name so okay so if i say tax slash environment name okay so this is i got this d809 okay so now this is solved for us let's go into flow where does where does the flow reside? So that is F three B F C. So F three B F C uh, E two. Okay, this is that logic app name. Now we can get it from here as well. So if you see just name, if you just query on name, you can get that. So let me do one thing: work flow and question mark and we say name. Okay, so even this is resolved now let's see the runs 085 so 085 resides somewhere here 085 ending with uh, cu 88 are we picking the right uh, url oh i think i have picked up the wrong url and that's why you know uh, it has come from here i have picked up the url of the last uh, run but if you see here this relates to uh, 08508 so that is a run slash name okay so we can pick up workflow and slash name. Now we have this URL defined. Okay. Now this URL is ready. But how do we use this? Okay. So we need to use a function called as concat concatenation. What it does, it concatenates the URL. Okay. So now if you see from a string perspective, this is an entire string. This is an entire string till here. Okay. So I will just add this over here. Okay make.powerautomate.com slash environment and then I will concatenate the environment name okay so I'll copy this uh, and then after this after this 04 we have slash flows slash okay so again I will take this one then I will get this workflow name okay and after that, I will have 
slash runs slash okay so i'll copy this and i will take the workflow okay so let me uh, do like this let me delete this and now this is that complete url and let me close this content bracket so the first one which is like just a hard-coded url then we have some dynamic component then hard-coded then dynamic component then hard-coded then dynamic component and this is how we form the url and let's see so i was missing a single code over here so i added that and now our url is complete so if i copy this url only the function basically i'll go here i'll add an expression and in this expression if i click here and i click on save now this is the basic expression which will give you the resultant url and again you can format it using ahref equal to but i'm not going to do that in the interest of time so i save this and i'll try to run this flow and i'll run this flow and i'll click on done now let me in my another screen let me show you the run history so this is the run history which you can see over here this is just triggered 11 second ago okay now this is the url now if uh i can't show you in my outlook because outlook is still loading so let me show you in this flow run itself if i go here send an email let's see what the url this body has generated okay so if you click show more let me copy this url okay let me take this entire url not the br till here and paste it in a new tab okay now the moment i do that i should be able to view the exact flow run for which it has executed now it has taken me to this page now this page will be exactly the same one which if you click over here okay so if i click over here then it will again take me to that same flow run so what essentially we have done is we have crafted a url which will give you the flow run uh, execution for uh, the recent power automate flow execution uh, cycle now the url is composed of multiple uh, components some are static some are dynamic so what we have done we have taken the dynamic component we tried parsing it and then we tried extracting it using a function called as a workflow so workflow function will give you all the uh, json uh, which is required uh, for extracting the environment flows and runs and we made use of workflow function and pass through the json uh, the json is like you can see the json over here so we have passed through the json and tried crafted a url so that's it folks this is all about generating a flow and url within microsoft power automate it will definitely help you to track which particular flow has failed within your entire flow cycle thanks for watching